walk safely yep. Without the fear of a cop gun off safety I want a baby Or maybe unlimited trips With a bit of a twist Having dinner on ships Looking at rivers and fish Swimming while feeling the mist Chilling, beginning the bliss Then still with a kiss uh, uh, No kind of worries New York City in winter without a flurry A real movie to come from Tyler Perry I want the next to just a quiet curry Splash Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm about you checking in. This is your boy Mickey Facts, man. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the new series, man. This is called Unbiased, the Base of Facts, man, where I pretty much sit down with Mickey every time I come to New York. This is one of the guys I respect in battle rap, man, as far as his just whole entire battle rap knowledge. So you're going to see me sit down with him. So if you got any future questions, definitely put them in the comment section. Yes, sir. And um, the moderator is Mr. Fourth Quarter, man. You should know him. Uh, I'll put his link to the YouTube channel he got. You definitely should know him from the blog. You'll probably recognize his face when you see him. But... Be on the lookout. I'm biased to base the facts. Volume one. one. Exclusive coverage. Open the base. The base. You are all bought us Born Legacy 3. And who was on that card? Av versus B Magic. But what happens? B Magic no shows, runs off on the plug, doesn't return the money back to URL. Since Beasley talked about it, let's talk about it. So, Chris, we we talking about Beasley versus B Magic. Your thoughts? All right, I definitely felt like B Magic was wrong for not doing a battle. Um, let me let me just read to y'all. I mean, obviously, they were supposed to battle at Born Legacy Three. It didn't go down. Uh, B Magic never really returned the money. Um, basically, took multiple battles. He battled in a battle in uh, Enes. He in a battle in Cortez, which hasn't dropped yet. Um, he battled a week before a Versailles boy. So he's been taking battles and still has yet to return the money. He, it's even gotten disrespectful where. The whole pray for St. Louis on URL side and the whole fuck URL on their side. And basically, they're not interested in, in booking B-Magic anymore. So recently, Beasley comes out. And I forgot. This was in my Facebook group. So I forgot how um, B-Magic was even a, a topic. But, excuse me. Let me read this to y'all. Uh, he called B-Magic, I think, a bum or a coward or something like that. On, Facebook and, and a guy came back at him and he, he responds with, I respect your opinion and support, but if someone who you built steals your money and doesn't keep his word, you have all rights to say what you like about that person. If the roles were reversed and URL owed him money, everybody would be making memes and posts about how foul URL is and how bad business they do. It's tough to see your heroes fall, but it's reality. What I'm saying... What am I saying that isn't true? Is he the same B-Magic? Does he choke often? Yes. Does he um, lose the guys he's supposed to beat? Yes. Did he steal money from URL? Yes. Is, it, is his behavior that of a thief and a bum? Yes. As far as him being on drugs other than weed, I can't confirm that. But his behavior is indica indicative of a dope head, which is lying, stealing, and not performing on a level you are normally accustomed to performing on so i view him as a bum and a dope head if he has a problem with it he can call me like a man and we can talk about it others who owe money to url call and are responsive to contact um, from us they say sorry man i didn't have the money at the time please give me more time this bum and coward stop answering our calls and text messages and haven't given us any indication that he intends to pay back the thousands of dollars that he owes a lot of people said beasley was unprofessional but um this is the way i feel it's really hard to be professional when you're in a business with a bunch of unprofessional people that's where i feel about it. i feel like with the ballers and the leagues 
they both show signs of being unprofessional. Ballers don't want to show up. Ballers show up late to venues. Ballers don't even do what their contract says as far as three minutes. They want to do two minutes. They still want to get paid. They're supposed to promote. They don't promote. They're supposed to send in trailer footage. They don't send in trailer footage. It's a whole bunch of BS that goes on as far as professionalism from a baller rapper. So a lot of times... You, you put in a situation where you're supposed to be the professional person, but you're dealing with a bunch of unprofessional people. And it's hard for you to be the one that, the only one that's professional when everyone else is being unprofessional. So I feel that way about that. As far as the money, if somebody owe me two to three thousand dollars. I would have a problem with it. And I don't, you'll see a whole different Chris. A lot of y'all see a mild manner Chris now. Somebody owed me two to three thousand dollars. You wouldn't see this kind of Chris. So I think at the end of the day, people are human. And I think the, what probably hurt URL more than anything is just the fact that B Magic had just went on this campaign of I've taken your money, fuck you. Because he's just taking battles. He's literally, he'll show up to a battle in New York City at an RBE event or a Black Ice event if they came to New York or anybody that booked them in New York literally be around the corner from URL and just think it's cool to be down the street and owe us money and still book battles. Then he'll be on Twitter saying, fuck your league, this and that. I know URL says this stuff too, so I know that they're not completely absolved for anything, but I feel like B Magic definitely should have either paid the money back or battle Av. He didn't do it and it led to this situation. And it's just unfortunate because URL and, and B Magic had a good relationship at one point in time and now it's to the point where you'll probably never see B Magic on URL again. I saw his first two battles on <coughs> URL live and I became an instant fan. So to see this is like it's a little disappointing. Um do I think Beasley's wrong for his comments? Absolutely not. Um they got robbed out of twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars, whatever the number is, no matter what the number is, you know. This is what happened. So Beasley's comments, I don't feel are unprofessional. They're in response to, you know, seeing someone blatantly take battles, show up. Even if he chokes or not, he's still taking the battles, taking the deposits, but not show up against Av. So, you know, I kind of feel where Beasley's coming from. You know, I know when somebody owed me money, I'm on their neck. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I can't be mad at Beasley. I'm, a, I'm very disappointed in Magic, you know what I mean? Because... He's winning the ring with killers. You know, it's, I mean, honestly, him not battling Av boosted Av's profile, to be honest. Like, it just, it, it made Av look scary. It's like, damn, he, Magic ain't show up to battle Av, and then Av goes against Chess. And it's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 a, it's an unfortunate situation that happened. And, um, yeah, that, that's actually an interesting point because I do feel like, him not battling Av did create an aura around Av. Oh yeah. And then he followed that up with a good chess performance. So now people is like, shit, if B Magic would have got them chess bars, it would have no wonder he ducked. So now it's kinda like and then B Magic did put his first round out and it didn't even look like it was crazy. So people it created this other thing like You would have got Yeah, like Av would have really killed you or something. So I, I definitely that's that's a good point. But you know, I I, I do think he needs to come back and, and he needs to give, you know, URL a free battle, definitely. And uh, say he'll get John John a free battle. Yeah. He said he'd get John John a free battle. I mean that battle, you know, that battle with what was his name? PC? PC. PC did his thing, man. He owes he owes John John that too, man. And it's just like, you know, don't ruin your legacy, bro. Like, when it's all said and done. It's, it's between him and Khan right now for the Punchline King. Like the quality and the, and the consistency. It's like don't don't do this, bro. You know what I mean? And another thing about him too, like he his price wasn't really crazy like other people. Like B Magic could be getting booked a lot now. And a they, lot with the way in a lot with the way they getting rid of like a lot of the crazy expensive top tiers, and you can't get Calico and Conceited and Hitman on the card. B Magic was one of those affordable top tiers. So he was, a, and then when you look at the people that's really making it now, like Av and the Chess and the JC and the Run Nitty, like it's so many battles for B Magic out there. I mean, I know he already uh, battled, you know, some of those people, but it's so many battles out there that make sense for him on URL yeah, that fits the profile now I that agree. other people don't. They may be forcing the other battles, but for a B Magic battle, like 
it would it would be dope right now. So it's, it's guys, just it's, like it's a sad situation, man. So yeah, sad. it definitely it's definitely a sad. It's just the ego thing once again. When was Born Legacy three supposed to have went down? Fucking summertime. Supposed to have happened before summer madness, which didn't happen. Okay, so now you're pushing my battles back. Fuck y'all, I'm gonna go get these other bags. So I understand what, what B Magic could probably be like, fuck you, RL. I'm gonna just run off with this joint because I supposed to have been battling on this joint for the last three months and y'all couldn't get y'all shit straight. So fuck you, Beasley. But if I'm Beasley, I'm, I'm, I'm still siding with Beasley on this one. I'll be ticked off if I'm a league owner and, and this is like one of my up and coming big guys going against B Magic. Every this was, this was a big draw, man. You sitting there telling me <clears throat> this shit this shit ain't even his biggest hit, man. You gonna sit here and tell me that him and them and B Magic ain't gonna patch things up? Nah, because I just feel like it's just to the point where I don't think B Magic is ever gonna pay the money back. It's twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, but I mean, twenty five hundred dollars to somebody that ain't got it is still twenty five hundred dollars to somebody that ain't got it. And Man, I think now, all that. But see, you know what? Another thing too. This is another problem with sometimes just us as people, and I'm not just saying black people. I'm saying anybody. It becomes a pride thing because now when B Magic goes back, people are gonna say, "Oh, they said uh, pray for St. Louis, and you went back and battled on URL anyway. Now you a sucker." So now is he? If he goes back, he's really doing the right thing because honestly, he owe money and he owe Av too because Av prepared for a battle that he's never gonna get. So he owes he owes URL, he owes Av. But the fact that you know when you look at the rest of St. Louis, none of them have been back on URL since that incident. And when you look at it, probably Aver will probably be the only one to be back. Hitman Hollis still ain't resolved stuff. Young Ill has been incognito. So it's kind of like, well, if I be the first one to go back or the first one to patch it up, I look like a sucker, even though you are really in the wrong. But people are looking at the URL's comments of Young Ill is a crackhead or whatever and pray for St. Louis as they disrespected St. Louis and you're still going to battle on the lead. So sometimes you got to be able to... to Fix stuff and not care about what other people think. You gotta do what you gotta do like your conscience and how you was raised and what you felt like is right and just live with it.